All right, Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. You guys have been asking for it, so we're gonna do it. Let's put together a giant Big Mac. Five pounds of beef to start. So that sounds like a pretty big Big Mac. And of course, you gotta have the shoestring fries to go along with it, so we're gonna do a big basket of fries too. So huge Big Mac, huge order of fries. Let's put this thing together. All right, Killer Clan. So, like I said, giant Big Mac time. Five pounds of beef. I feel like every one of my burger challenges starts out with five pounds of beef. Maybe we should step it up. Get two of these and do like ten pounds of beef. Maybe you should. That sounds awful though. Five pounds of beef. We're gonna do two two and a half pound patties. So we're gonna split this thing down the middle. I got the grill warming up outside. I'm gonna break this into two. I'm gonna season it up because you have to season your beef. Unless you're Denny's beer bro. Hit the pepper. SPG. Salt and pepper. See, I would use some garlic, but I actually don't have any of that. Present. I'm pretty sure that Big Macs don't have Big garlic Macs in them. Definitely anyway. don't have garlic in them, but they do have salt and pepper, probably. Uh, I actually, fun fact, I actually worked at McDonald's 20 years ago, 20, 21 years ago in high school, and I already know what you're saying, did you get Big Mac sauce? No, I got Thousand Island because it is, in fact, the exact same thing. Because when we would run out, we would have to make it, and most of the time we would just substitute Thousand Island dressing, and guess what? Nobody ever knows the difference. They're almost professional looking burger patties. Yeah, you are, right? I figured after a dozen of these fat, these giant food adventures, they're like adventures, like giant food adventures. Um, we're definitely getting better, better at it. All right, so we got, of course a Big Mac comes with like two slices of pickles, so we up the ante. We got like a bunch of pickles. We got the diced onions there. Mr. Poole's already eaten onion. Burgers are on the grill, not burned it like bacon. Burned burn like, like that bacon. bacon. Nothing's as burned as that. And uh, <laughs> shout out, shout out to Tina Beckers. She got us a freaking sweet flat top so we can put it on the grill and do bacon and stuff on it. Shout out to Tina. The, the patties were actually too big, Tina, so I couldn't use it on that, but shout out to you. Thanks for the gift. I really do appreciate it. Flame bro. Mm -hmm. It's flame bro. It's like it's like Burger King instead of two King's Hawaiian rolls. Mr. Pool. There ain't nothing like two buns. Because Big Macs have that worthless center bun. I I just don't understand the whole worthless middle center bun thing. But anyways, all right. So we're going to make a top and bottom, and then we're going to. Or do you think I should just smash this down and use this entire thing as a middle? Or do you think I should? No, I don't necessarily think that that whole thing needs to go in the middle. Okay. Maybe you should cut the middle out of it and use it as the middle. <laughs> use the middle, so we got a bottom, we got a top. I feel like I feel like this would make like a middle bun. Probably. Yeah. Because I don't know what King's Hawaiian is doing, but they're doing it right because it's delicious. Look at that. It's like a pillow. Ugh, I'm just taking that. All right, so we're ready to assemble the giant Big Mac. Mr. Poole was kind enough to pick, pull up a picture of what one should tentatively look like, and we figured out that it's dressing Big Mac sauce, aka Thousand Island dressing, or Russian dressing, and it has a healthy vegetable. Healthy Vegetables Randall. Healthy Vegetables Randall. Healthy Vegetables Randall. Then it has cheese. And what Mr. Poole and myself were actually surprised by is that the only layer of a Big Mac that has cheese on it is the bottom layer, which was surprising to me, honestly. 
Maybe we'll step it up a notch and put some on the second layer anyways, what do you think? Think we should? Mm -hmm. I think we should. Then we got our first patty. Our first patty. Then we have this useless second bun. It's not useless, bread's delicious. It's precious. It's delicious. Then we have the onion. By the looks of it, there's more Russian dressing. Like a so. More healthy vegetables, Randall. Question is, should we, in fact, add more cheese to it? I feel like we should because. Yeah, it's not a big mac anymore. I feel like McDonald's quits at halftime. So. It's like. There. Burger King charging for extra cheese on, on your, uh, or just regular cheese on your freaking Whoppers. And usually, usually the pickles are like on the top, right? Look at that. Look at that, Mr. Pool. That's a burger. Just for good measure. More sauce. A little more. Max sauce. That! Oh, it's a Big Mac. Boom. Now we're actually gonna, because everybody always asks, everybody always asks how much things weigh. So here you go. The Big Mac itself is a little over six pounds. So a six pound Big Mac, which is equivalent to about like 12 Big Macs. 17 huh. Big Macs because 34 was about 15 pounds. So mm. it's equivalent to about 16 to 17 regular Big Macs. Then also the basket of fries. So you're looking at about mm. about an eight pound challenge. Eight LD. All right, Killer Clan, so as you saw in the clips before, me and Mr. Poole put together this six and a half pound Big Mac. It is a gigantic. Pretty big. I even got a basket of fries over here to go along with it. Shoestring, extra crispy, just like, look, they're already soggy like McDonald's really makes them. But I'm not even really even a fry, a fry guy, but I got a whole big thing here of fries because I know you guys like fries and I want to be cool, so I want to fit in. And the easiest way to stay cool is to go grab yourself one of these coolest water bottles from thecoldestwater.com. Use my promo code below. Get yourself a little bit of a discount. They're 21 ounces, clear up to a gallon. I love this thing. It does work. Got some ice in there. Anderson's looking at my ketchup. Make sure you go over there, check out Without these. Without further ado, the eight pound Big Mac challenge with the Killer's Kryptonite French fries. Three, two, one. Big Mac. Got a huge bun with a bunch of pickles in it. Fresh cut I may add. Anderson's really forward tonight. I literally just fed them. It does taste like a Big Mac. Mmm. I know what most people want to try to see. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> it's, not it's too big. That's what she said. Alright, back to it. Two for six no better time than to build the biggest roast beef sandwich I can.
<clears throat> Comment below so far in these giant foods, what has been your favorite channel? This thing's pretty good. Sloppy Joe was good to do too. My goal was to not sweat during the challenge, but I have a feeling I'm going to. Some of their meats still pretty warm. I do have ice cold water over there. Dude, that must mean that meat shrinks up like, you must lose like 20%. Mr. Pole's over there trying to convince me that 90-10 is the way to go because it doesn't shrink, but it's also drier than a fork. Sounds awful. Maybe I'll make some fancy sauce. If you don't get that reference, better go watch Step Brothers. I would like some fancy sauce. You calculate the calories, make sure you add in that. Onions are really potent. <coughs> That's that. We're about seven minutes in, I'm down to the last patty and the bun. Then I'm gonna get into these kryptonites over here. Look at these things. There's a ton of them. For you dog lovers. There you go. Which make a little extra the way the dog. Otherwise, I get crucified. That's like a double basket of fries compared to what McDonald's would give you. Get massively dry. <laughs> that bottom bun has so much grease in it. Still going the same place. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to fold this up and kind of eat it like a. It's kind of like a burger. Burger taco. Burger taco. Look at that. That's exactly what it is. <clears throat> Cheeseburger tacos. Cheeseburger taco, now you're talking.
I feel like it's been forever since I did a speed challenge. Maybe if you want to see a speed challenge of some sort, like, I don't know, 10 quarter pounders or something, comment below. I feel like everything I've done lately is kind of casual. Down to the last of my big, big man. It's like a big, 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 big man. Last by the big man. About 15 minutes. I'm telling you, I need to do something speed. One thing about slowing down and enjoying it. You never have to worry about getting 10 minutes in your video. <clears throat> you got this basket of fries. Seasoned Decker Crispy O'Ridas. I'll just put my finger. <clears throat> and from minus the one fry I gave you. I'm trying to keep the calories down. This guy even got some diet soda. I'll keep the calories down. Wow, that was a lot of Big Mac. 22 minutes, slow. All right, Killer Glenn, so that was the eight pound Big Mac and fry challenge. About 22 minutes. Some water left over in there. I didn't even get into my coldest water today. <sighs> I didn't really even, I mean, I, just, I definitely was sweating, but stay hydrated. If you guys are interested in a decal or a t-shirt, 
Links are below, you know what to do. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing. It helps me out tremendously. Hit that like button. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. At the Killer Kennedy. If you want to send me anything, which is always more than welcome, I'll pretty much try anything at least once. I'll put an address below. You can mail me some cool stuff. Feature you on the channel. But until next time, go get yourself a Big Mac, just a little one, not a six and a half pound one. Take it easy.